So, I recently bought one of these cheap smartphone lens kits from Amazon and uh, in this video I'm going to talk you through every single piece that comes in the kit, tell you which ones work well, which ones don't work very well and uh, help you in deciding whether these are worth investing your time and money into. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I will also tell you one of the other options available if you're really looking to up your photo slash videography game and uh, don't mind spending a little bit more. What's up guys, this is Amit and welcome back to an Indian Abroad where I do a lot of unboxing videos and in-depth reviews, mostly talking about watches and tech but I also like to feature interesting cars and motorbikes when the opportunity presents itself. So if that sounds interesting, please hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on so you don't miss a future upload. And if you find this specific video useful, please hit that like button as it does help the channel massively. So there it is, the smartphone camera lens kit which I ordered. Now as you can see there, this specific one is from Cronova, but there are plenty of options on Amazon and also on eBay. And they all pretty much fall into the same sort of price bracket. So you're looking at about starting from 20 quid and going upwards to about 50 quid. And um, I personally bought this uh, for the macro lens. So I do a lot of watch videos and I just thought it'd be uh, interesting to play with the macro lens. Uh, but then these ones normally come in a package. So you would get a fisheye lens, a super wide angle lens, and uh, some other kit as well so let's get straight into this one and uh, see exactly what this one comes with so looking at the protective case that comes with the kit it looks very well made uh, and it also looks like it should protect everything that is inside of it uh, but to be honest at the price point this uh, product falls into i don't think that is a major concern so i'm just gonna go ahead and uh, open this up and see exactly what we get inside of it so before even I get into the detail of every single piece that comes in the kit, um, just the sheer number of things that come in the kit, I think it's already good value for money. But uh, let's now look at every single piece in detail. So starting with this guy here, this is the actual clip that goes onto the back of your phone. And then it also has this um, adjustable mount for the actual lens itself. And uh, in terms of lenses, from what I can see here, you get four of them. So starting with this guy that is the 235 degree fish eye lens and then underneath that guy you have what looks like yep that is the super wide angle lens as well so you just should allow you to capture a lot more into your frame and then underneath that guy you have I think this should be the macro lens yeah so that's the 25x macro lens now this is a bit for which i bought this entire uh, kit for uh, but we'll test that in a second but looking at this guy here this is a gigantic 22x mobile phone lens so this should let you uh, to zoom in optically zoom in a lot more than your normal uh, camera would do and um, it also comes with an interesting attachment so i've already seen this here so um, this guy is an ip so you could connect this and actually use it as a sort of single eye uh, binocular you also get this uh, sort of very basic uh, phone mount now i'm sure you can hear that noise there it is not very well made so that doesn't give me much confidence of leaving my thousand pound phone on this one but again this is extra stuff which comes with the kids you don't have to necessarily use it and then finally here you get a little tripod so that also has a rotatable sort of head on it and then it looks like it's very well made uh, but again it's a very basic sort of tripod uh, but yeah just good to see that uh, they bothered to put one in into this uh, very basic kit and on the other side here you um, get some documentation so i believe this would be the user manual but again all of these things should pretty much be self-explanatory but again we'll get to that in a second um, and then you get some warranty information which i'm not going to bother reading and um, you also get this uh, little remote control which apparently works with both ios and android as per uh, the stickers there uh, this basically connects to your smartphone via bluetooth and lets you control the camera button remotely and then finally you get a microfiber uh, cloth and then this pouch to carry your lenses into um, Again, like I said, just based off the number of things you get and um, on first impressions, the, the, these lenses specifically, they look like they are very well made and um, of high quality. Uh, but again, let's just connect it to my smartphone now and then we can see if they actually work and uh, work very well or not. So I've now attached the clip onto the back of my phone and I'm going to start off with the fisheye lens here. So here goes. So 
So there you can see it. That's the fisheye effect. I think as far as fisheye effects go, that works very well. And um, in terms of the zoom as well, so I think that zoom takes off a little bit of fisheye effect. Now you do get these black borders again. I think that's quite cool if you're trying to do something creative there uh, but if you don't want them you can always zoom in a little bit and then get rid of that black border so that's how the fish eye would look if you were to zoom in a little bit and as you can see there the, the image on the center of the screen is a little bit curved but that's pretty much what fish eye does for you it actually captures quite a lot more uh, in the frame as you can see there and I think it works very well so next up is this super wide angle lens let's just put this guy up and um, see what it can do So as you can see there, uh, it actually works very well and it captures a lot more on this side here. So you, this bit here, uh, you get a lot more extra on that side. Obviously you get a lot more extra on this side as well. So I think that works very well and um, I'm just gonna obviously do the zooming in. So yep, there's no borders, there's no uh, blurring. So this works very well actually. And uh, this one's next, the optical 22x zoom. Let me just uh, mount it on. So after a lot of effort and moving the lens around on the smartphone, I finally managed to find a position where it actually uh, shows something on the screen. So as you can see there, that cookie jar is quite zoomed in. Now, in reality, that is about roughly two meters away from, from the camera here, uh, but that's how it looks on that optical zoom lens. Now, along with the optical zoom, the lens actually has a manual focus as well. So you can play around with that as much as you like. So I'm just gonna move the camera around a little bit so we can see some of the other things as well and uh, hopefully it should keep everything in focus. There you can see that uh, remote control toy uh, looks very very good again like I said that is roughly about two meters away from this camera and again you can change the manual focus there uh, to pinpoint exactly what you're looking at but yeah as far as I'm concerned that lens works very very well. And so finally, it is time to put on the macro lens, the actual reason why I bought this entire uh, lens kit. So I'm just gonna pop this on and um, focus on the watch here and see what we can get uh, with the macro lens. So as you can see there, I popped on the 25X macro lens and uh, that is my Tudor Black Bay Bronze. I'm just gonna try and see if I can get any good shots uh, with this lens on. So. As you can already see there, I have to zoom in so much and be so close to the watch there um, that the entire watch, even after having the studio lights on, um, the entire scene pretty much becomes very dark uh, and it's pretty much useless at this point. And um, if I try to let a little bit of light in, um, the entire text becomes illegible and at that point this macro shot is again pretty much useless. But I'm gonna try a few different angles to see if I can get some good footage with the macro lens on. Uh, but from what I can tell, you have to get so close to the watch here that the entire scene becomes very very dark and you can pretty much not see anything. Even that text there in some instances, so there for example, it will finally focus on it but again the scene is so dark and you have to be so close to the watch that um, I can pretty much not use this for any professional purposes. So for what I want to do with this lens this is pretty much useless and um, it might have to uh, go back to be honest. So from my experience this macro lens 25x macro lens for watch photography or videography it definitely does, does not work and uh, I would avoid it if that's the reason you're trying to buy uh, this kit for but if you're looking to buy this kit for the fisheye lens or this 22x optical zoom lens or this super wide angle lens then this is a very good kit and it's very good value for money as well. So if like me you're also looking for a decent macro lens and that is the only lens you're interested in uh, like I said at the beginning of the video there is another very good option available which I'm looking into myself um, it's called the moment lens in fact it's not just a lens they actually do an entire ecosystem so they've got sort of phone covers and a bunch of other filters and uh, everything else to do with lenses to go with it as well so in terms of price that is not as uh, cheap or anywhere near as this one is uh, probably looking at about 75 to 80 quid for a single lens but again if you are looking to up your uh, photography and videography game maybe that's a better bet so with that, I'm going to wrap this video off here. Hopefully you found it useful. And um, if you have any questions or if you think I've forgotten something, please leave them in the comment section below. I will try and answer as many as I can. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one.